Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Theron, uh, also known as Bang Splat. And it's February 1st, 2022, which means one thing, RPM Challenge. Um, if you haven't heard of the RPM Challenge, it stands for, RPM stands for record per month. And it's a challenge to musicians to record, uh, write, record, mix, and master an album during the month of February, the shortest month of the year. Now they've expanded it. It's not just albums anymore. Uh, they also allow people to do songs, singles, and also EPs, sort of short albums, and uh, box sets. I've been doing this for 13, 14 years, something like that now. And it's uh, it's pretty, it's an annual tradition. And this year I'm trying to do something a little different. I'm going to do a box set which their definition of box set is three, like three albums or a hundred minutes or 30 songs, something like that. So we'll see. I will be going for the hundred minute uh, thing. In fact, I will probably be going for more like 150 or 180 minutes. We will see. I plan to do three albums but they're supposed to be listened to in sequence so the idea is that they will be kind of like three movements three ambient or electronic movements of an overall piece which will be uh we'll see we'll see if i can make that happen and make it interesting and for portions of it i'm going to be using minecraft to generate the music uh, i've done this before and i have some ideas now so first thing i need to do is go in here and look at my music settings. I'm probably going to need to adjust all this weather needs to go off completely. Um, okay, I might need to come and adjust these, but we'll 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 see. Actually, you know, I, I turned this down quite a bit for for recording Minecraft videos. So let me turn this uh, let me turn this all the way up. And we'll see how it goes. I'll adjust it if I need to. Now, I'm going to make a... No, I'm not multiplayer. Cancel. Single player. And create a new world. And the world is going to be called RPM Challenge 2022. It's going to be creative. I think I'll leave it on normal difficulty. It may, that may have an impact on how what I do works. Cheats on, um, and I want to do a super flat. And I want to choose one of these presets. I will probably... Wait, what does the tunnel is dream look like? Oh, it's a bunch of stone. Because this redstone ready is usually what I use, but it you, you're pretty low in the world because it's, well, hmm, three layers of bedrock, 52 layers of stone, and then some sandstone on top. It's Tyler's dream, though. One of the problems with this one is you get all kinds of slimes. You know, let's try this one. I can always reset it and start again. And this way. Yeah, let's do this. I don't plan to dig down at all. I plan to build everything on the surface, but let's see. Let's use this preset. Um, you know what? I don't need these. Let's go with the stone world done and I, obviously this seed generator doesn't matter because it's a super flat world i don't need structures um, no bonus chest done rpm challenge create new world and of course we know exactly what it's going to look like because the entire world is exactly the same still takes forever to generate. Okay. Let's see. Is 
So one of the reasons I like using Minecraft to do this is twofold. One is the game makes some interesting sounds. Wait, is that really stone? Okay, so a couple things we have to adjust first. Game rule do daylight cycle false time set. Oops. Time set noon. What's going on there? You are not in noon position. Oh, time set noon. I just chatted that. Okay, good. And then uh, game rule do weather cycle false. Good. We don't need thunderstorms. What is going on there? Why is there lava? Okay, that's fine. So this this is looks like snow. This is snow. I'm in a snow world. There's snow on top of my stone. Okay, that's fine. So give me give me a block of gold, and we will stick that right there because that is where we start. Huh? I I'm. Hmm. I wonder if there's an easy way to get rid of all the snow. Um, probably, let's see, let's see, fill, and then if I come over here, bloop, there goes the snow. Uh, there's all kinds of ores and everything. Okay, lovely. Let's see here. If I go... Let's see, minus 100, minus 100, and go to 100 and 100. Oh, too big. Um, let's... Let's bring this down. 90. 90. 90. Bloop. Okay, it gives me some working area. This is where we started. Not that it matters too much, but. So, as I was saying, one of the reasons I like using Minecraft is because two things. One, there's a bunch of sounds in the game, which sound kind of cool. And then there are a bunch of sounds in, uh, or so yeah, there's a bunch of sounds in the game. Sound kind of cool. And there's also, it's a, a source of randomness. So I like having random, uh, randomness in my music. Like setting up systems where things can happen, where things sounds can get made, and then I like making that. Uh, oh, buddy name with this, not what I wanted. And then I like making setup situations where that stuff can happen, and then see what happens. So amethyst is a really interesting block in uh, the game because it makes sounds it, it tinkles when you walk on it so fill and then come back over here let's make a let's just fill out a chunk with a bunch of amethyst uh amethyst block as i walk on it that's really quiet let's uh fix that so that is probably Blocks. Hmm. Which sound is this? Ambient environment? No, it's still super quiet. Play hostile.
That may be a little louder. Um, I'm just going to turn everything up. It wouldn't be weather or music. No, I've got the music is, is the built-in music. And it wouldn't be weather, would it? So that kind of sounds like wind chimes, and I like that. That's it's not weather, is it? That would be really dumb. Okay. So I'm just going to have to turn up my headphone volume here. Um, hopefully, just these back down. I'm going to bring this back down a bit because I don't want to. I'm probably not as loud as these sounds. Actually, I'm louder than these sounds. Okay, that's good. So next thing is I want to get some... Glass. Let's get some, yeah, just some regular glass. And then I'm going to put some down here. And we'll, we'll fill these out. So I'm going to build some walls around this. So what I'm basically doing here is building an instrument on which I'm going to play the RPM Challenge album. And more, more appropriately, I'm going to train it how to play, and then I'm going to let it go and see what it does. So it's what I've sort of experimental music with a capital E. So. Plop. Okay, now, next thing. I want to, that I need to see, and I should, Probably should have checked this before, but the rules are you're not supposed to uh, start working on the album before January 1st. So if I throw a creeper in here and he starts moving around, it does. Okay, this is beautiful. Now, do different... Um, creatures make different sounds as they walk around on it. So if I get a... Like if I get a, a sheep... I spawn a sheep down here. Okay, so I like creepers because they have relatively quiet footsteps. But cats also have relatively quiet footsteps. And creepers don't like cats. 
Oh, the meows are going to be a problem. Oh, the stereo effects are cool. Let me turn off the grid there and turn off the F3. So, the cat sounds are going to be under here. They're going to be friendly creatures, I bet. <laughs> okay, this is beautiful. So the cats, they don't mind the creepers, but the creepers don't like the cats. Who knows why that is, but it, it is. So if I build this thing and then I put little, I could put a dispenser in here. Right? And... And fill it up with cat spot eggs. Um, and then I could put a little circuit on here to slowly start dispensing cats over time. And I could put creeper spawn eggs over here. I could build a little circuit that would periodically dispense one or the other. Just build a little hopper clock or something that periodically would just dispense another creeper. Hey, they're walking right by those cats. So I like that this kind of sounds like uh, wind chimes. It's pretty. And it's got kind of a stereo effect and if I rotate around, it's gonna rotate it in space. Um, <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like the creepers running away from the kitties. I love how there's little bursts of frenetic energy. Hi. Okay, now are there blocks that I could use to to lure the cats away. Because the one thing I could do is I could get rid of the bottom row of glass here around here and the cats could wander out. Hey! <laughs> so the number of cats could kind of go up and down. So what happens if I, whoops. What happens if I get crazy? So obviously this isn't, this has a certain tonality to it, which is nice. It's not exactly music on its own, but the goal here would be that I would generate some sound, which I could then manipulate after the fact. And uh, and then 
process and turn into something. And all the little footsteps are almost like a percussion. <laughs> oh. I love that the, the AI of the game is going to put it in such that periodically there will be moments of quiet or quietude. Like all the, all the creepers are like, hey, what are you looking at? All the creepers are going to sort of end up over here to get away from the cats. And then a cat will wander in and like freak them all out and have them send, run, send them running somewhere else. So the, the trick here will be coming up with the right balance of how many cats, how many creepers. I'm so glad the amethyst blocks make their sound when the creepers walk on them. It's interesting that they aren't, they don't, they don't run away from the cats at all costs. If they're trying to get away from another cat, they will run right next to a cat. That's what it looks like, at least. Let's figure out which sound. I'm going to just start turning off the, uh, so it's not player sounds. Um, voice speech. Not that. Um, ambient environment. Nope. I bet it's blocks, but I just want to confirm that. Hostile creatures. <gasps> it's under hostile creatures. That's so weird. So that means it's not going to be blocks or two block and other blocks. So hostile creatures. Oh, that's so weird. And that's the category they put it under. That's, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So I could set up a note block that would like terminate the whole thing like that. And it would play that sound. Okay. 
So I may end up having to play this in a sense. Oops. Like I'll start off with one or two creepers. Let them wander around for a little bit. Just on their own. And again, this won't be the only thing going on. I will layer other sounds in on top of this. And I like the fact that there could be little moments of just quiet as they just stop. Huh, it's interesting. Their pauses in their in their walk seems to be somewhat synchronized. Interesting. So the more creepers I add, the more chaotic it's going to get just on its own. You know, eventually build to just constant tones, constant sound. <laughs> okay, and then the cats just add like a chaos factor. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Okay, so I think what it is is that the, the creepers run away from the cats looking at them. Maybe not. So I'll probably come up with a, you know, a musical score in the sense that I'll come up with timings, like start with this many creepers, no cats. And then after a certain amount of time, start adding additional creepers and then start adding additional cats. Or 
And then at a certain point... I'll probably remove all the cats. Oh, let's let's try another experiment. Okay, so... Hmm. <clears throat> I did an RPM challenge album, uh, album in a Minecraft world a few years ago. I recorded and released some videos on it. And I think... Um... Oh, if I do this, I'm going to have to. Okay, I can do that. That's not a problem. Right? Um... If I just go time set midnight. Now I get spawns all over the place, not in here because I'm too close. So if I spawn a couple of villagers, I spawn uh. a zombie. Huh. Oh. The villagers don't trigger the amethyst, amethyst blocks. Interesting. Uh, what if I turn on friendly creatures? Oh. Huh. So I think to make this work, I would have to create a resource pack that muted some of these sounds. Like I can mute everything but the amethyst block sounds. So that's interesting. The, the amethyst block sounds are... Um, they're part of the mob sounds, they're not block sounds. Okay, I could do that. Be interesting to see if this is substantially different from the sound of the creepers running away from the cats, though. I do like that the zombie is slower than the villagers. So they can kind of play keep away. Uh. 
It's actually an interesting question. How many... At what point do the numbers sort of favor the zombies? Oh! Just killed the villager. Yeah, I think if the zombies would split up more, they would they would do better. Oh, they got him cornered. Oh, they turned him into a zombie. So they killed the last guy, but he got turned. Okay, well, I think if we're going to do that, I'll have to build a, I don't want all these other mobs spawning. Let everyone else die. Oh, and I could walk on here with the player sounds turned on. Got it. Interesting. So, player sounds. Okay. So if I do that, then I can actually get down on the ground and do that. So the friendly creatures, 
So I'm I'm still thinking creepers and cats are the way to go. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I think I got that figured out. Now, the next thing is I need to look at a randomizer circuit. Um, so I think if I get... Um, I get a dispenser and I get a comparator. And I get an observer. Hopper. thinking is I get a block of some sort here some bricks some bricks I don't need these and for that RPM challenge record I did a while ago, I, I kind of used this to generate my random, my random sort of pattern. So, but if I do this, right, then I can grab one of these and it'll stay there. I take this off. It'll go back and forth. So I get a bit of a clock. Okay. And then... <laughs> grab a comparator. some block down here. Redstone is the wrong thing. Okay. And then I get a repeater. Use that as my okay. So just use that as a visual indicator. So now can I use? Cauldron. I think I can use a cauldron, right? So if I put a cauldron down here and then I grab some water. That doesn't work the way I thought it would.
Well, I could do it like this. And get some red soap dust. Okay. So this one is a level of power of eight. Okay, so. Okay, there we go. So when it's completely full, it overcuts it's more than eight, so it lights up. If I take out one. Okay. Turn off this hopper like that that. Huh, did everything just automatically go back? Let me put this torch back out here. Okay, so. Okay, so this two and a half stacks exactly with light with trigger a pulse. So that if I do this, and eventually, oh, no, okay. That's right, I need to put in the pistons with the redstone block to go back and forth to uh, to lock and unlock the chests, the, uh, the hoppers. But if we do it the right way, then when it comes back over here, It'll create a pulse. So I, I'm basically, I need to make a hopper clock, an ethyl hopper clock. That when this triggers, it would then trigger. Oh, not this. What I want it to do is I want it to trigger a. Oh, wait, let's try that. Um, let's grab something that doesn't stack. Like a shovel. If I put a shovel in here, that triggers. Oh, okay. So what we can do is we can have this send a pulse to a Or a dispenser. Dispenser or dropper. That will be filled up with, with like random items. Some that stack and some that don't. And the one and when it randomly uh, randomly drops one that stacks, the one that doesn't stack, that's enough of a signal to then trigger the dispenser. So that's what my randomizer is gonna look like. I'll go back into that other world. I'll have to dig it up. I have it sort of archived um, to see how I made those for the uh, the 
the one RPM challenge that I did. That was all like note blocks with randomizers. So if I put in an item there, take this out. Wait. Okay, that's now behaving differently from what I thought, but it's okay. Okay, that's fine. I'll work on that. Okay, well, I think we have a we have a start of a proof of concept. We can uh... <coughs> I, I did not mean to drop an illager on here. Okay. Um or Vindicator, even worse. Cat spawn egg. Cool. And so when I go and record it, I will probably record a few passes. I'll probably record one that's literally like an hour of this. With my sort of planned release of creepers and cats. And sort of give it a little bit of structure. And that may become like a base for it. And then I may record some extreme versions like, you know, I'll put like 200 cats in here and 100 creepers. And then the uh, and then the challenge will be to find some other sounds to layer on top of this. But then I could take short little bits of this chaos, filter it very heavily so it sounds very different, and that filtering might be stretching it out. So I take these sort of sounds, take two minutes of this, and then stretch it out to an hour, and see what that sounds like. And then run it through some filters, which drastically change the sound. And then layer that on top and bring those in and out. And then by bringing in the different layers and bringing them and getting rid of them, uh, give it some structure that way.
Okay. Type item. Okay, I think I have this more or less sorted out. What the basics of what I'm going to do. Then you just start building in some of the mechanisms and then doing some test run through. So I'll probably stream, you know, some of some of that. Um, and I think it'll be interesting to see. I've not, I've done videos explaining what I've done after the fact, but I've never done sort of the development process. And this is my music making uh, process, which is a little unusual, I suspect. Uh, not a lot of people doing this style of experimental music. Um, there are people who build instruments that are unusual, and then they 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 sort of play them, or they take data of different types, you know, number systems, and do music built on that. Oh, okay. That's not going to work. Um, huh. Another, another possibility is this. Can they not consider a hostile mob? Oh. That's interesting. That's really weird that slimes are considered friendly creatures and magma cubes. That's really weird. Okay. Well. Whoa. Interesting. Okay, well, I think it's going to be creepers and cats. And I will probably use that for the title of that section. Okay. Well, I think this is a good start. 
day number one. And I, I have to figure out what I'm going to do for the other sections. Uh, may or may not use Minecraft for those. But uh, we will see. All right, I think we will call that it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope this is interesting. I will probably do a little more of this. I've been doing Minecraft Let's Play videos on Twitch here. And uh, I will probably, for the next couple weeks, spend a little more time working on this kind of thing. But we will see. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, I don't have a regular schedule here. It'll be kind of as I can, but I might do a little bit of this during the day tomorrow. I'm West Coast, United States. So, um, yeah, we will see. I may also do, I also have some Minecraft streaming that I want to do for my, my Let's Play series on YouTube. So we'll see about that. All right. Well, thank you very much. And... Uh, I will see you later. Bye.